Well, Tom and Lauren, this is a huge honor to talk to you. I think Chloe and Lucifer are one of the best TV couples of all time. And congratulations on this final season. I loved every single moment of it. So honestly, just first of all, congratulations. The series is done. I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't believe it now that I just finished. This time is definitely the end this time. Definitely. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the <laughs> fandom is, yes, the fandom is truly special for the show. I have a ton of questions for you. Um, you know, like I said, I love Lucifer and Chloe. I've loved seeing their relationship and chemistry build over these last six seasons. And, you know, after becoming friends in real life, how do you continue to just to build up the chemistry for Lucifer and Chloe now that we've come full circle this final Final season. Tom, I want to begin with you. Well, I mean, there was another element added to the mix this season. Um, and I don't want to go too much into it because we're not doing spoilers anymore. But um, yeah. But <laughs> wants to find themselves in the place where their, their relationship feels very cemented and then something else is added to the mix. And um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, the, it's a different deck of style than what you've ever seen before. Tom and I are so lucky that uh, yeah. <laughs> we. Um, you know, we didn't, we never had a, they call them chemistry reads or whatever. That's but crazy. Tom was cast, right? Yeah. And I was cast and we have mutual friends um, that just, you know, said the best things ever about Tom. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. But you never know until you meet someone, especially when you kind of know it's going to be a love-ish relationship. Yeah. Um, but Tom and I just, we're so lucky in that we didn't know each other. We got thrown into it together and just got along like a house on fire. Then, Amazing. you know, like best buddies since we got shot out the gates and incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to make all these jokes that it's like, it's the hardest acting I've ever had to do is act like Tom is charming. Ha ha ha. No, it's really like, <laughs> like <laughs> zero effort. And I get asked that I think more than anything, like, how yeah, how do you I'm like really <laughs> yes. we don't do it. it just happened that we both have you know the maturity level of a five-year-old and a shared sense of humor and that sense of humor is the, <laughs> the six-year-old um that's pretty yeah. good yeah, yeah no, so I, the, the, I, thank you for speaking on it. I was talking with Joe and he actually said that the final scene of the series is the final scene that you all shot. We don't have to get into spoilers, but I just wanted to get your thoughts on what it was like after you filmed the final scene um, for Lucifer and what it was like just on set afterward. Tom, I want to begin with you. Oh my gosh. Um, well, I think as soon as they said cut, Lauren and I sort of turned to each other and looked at each other and just gave each other a massive hug and burst into tears. Um, and then that just kind of like echoed across the set as people sort of said goodbye to me. Like it, we've had such a close group for such a long time and um, we're so fond of everyone there, you know, the crew and everybody's just been amazing. So it was a it was an outpouring, but um, I, because we all knew it was going to end, I think Gradually, as the days went on on season six, it was a, it was a daily sort of grieving process. So it was we were like letting air out of the balloon slowly, rather than just all of, all in one go at the end. You have to mentally prepare for weeks of this ending, <laughs> right, Lauren? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that day was beautiful. The last day, of course, we, as Joe told you, Lauren, I think um, the last scene of the entire series is what we shot last, but we also shot the. Um, the Lucifer and Chloe together. Oh wait, I'm probably not allowed to mention that, huh? On the well, there's a. Are you talking about like yeah, maybe like another type of montage that happens? But yeah, well, that's no, I was just saying that it, was, it. <laughs> it was an emotional, uh, heartfelt day. You know, the yes. last day of shooting. Um, yeah, and it it was it was beautiful. I just remember like Tom just made me have a flashback. I remember you obviously know it's coming, and you know that obviously you're gonna have your last take, and then everyone's gonna wrap. But I remember hearing cut and then this like look in Tom's eye. And I was like, wait, well, yeah, I'm sure we're going again, right? Like we're, and he's like, no, that's it. And then everyone started clapping. And I just, at that point, Tom and I just hugged and oh, yeah. So I love it. Um, yeah, well, last question for you. How do you think season one, Lucifer and Chloe would react to season six, Lucifer and Chloe? Because I rewatched season one prior <laughs> to this and I'm like, how would Detective Chloe in season one react if she could potentially see the future? What do you guys think they would react? Tom, what do you think he would react to knowing how it ends? I think part of him would be, be like, I told you so that you liked me. 
Um, and then the other part being like, whoa, hold on a minute, that's gone a bit far. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Perfect the response. I was gonna say the same thing, because if, if we're talking about season one, Chloe, yes, she pretty much thinks she's like insane for a good part of, of the season. And like, even the way I talked to him when I first meet him, like, oh, your name's a joke. Like, yes, you're a joke. Yeah, you, you know, you're having orgies here. You're drinking whiskey at 8 a.m. Like, you're a nightmare. Yeah, if I were to look at <laughs> season one, Chloe, were to look at season six, Chloe, and what they've gone through, I would go, no way. With that guy that I met at the crime scene, the piano, oh no God. way. Yeah, I think it'd be all insane. But, you know, it's all just due to so much love and the journey they went through together. It just feels like it's, you know, well-deserved. Yeah, did you guys take anything from set <laughs> afterward? Tom, did you take anything? Well, I, I, I wish I could have taken Lucifer's car, but that wasn't happening. Um, let, me, so let, me just, let me just cut to the chase here. If you can imagine that cavemen had a sex toy, that's basically, basically what Tom took from set. <laughs> really? Great, amazing. Yeah, we've tried to describe it now so many times, but it is a fake ivory tusk that is has carvings into it, like very ancient looking carvings. But it really is this very phallic caveman sex toy. Caveman sex toy. Tom, you have to post it on your Instagram one of these days. <laughs> Anyways, thank you both so much for your time today. I appreciate it so much. He's like, thank I'm going to do it. I love all the behind the scenes <laughs> photos that you did post. Thank you both so much for your time today. I appreciate it. And I cannot wait for fans to see this final season of Lucifer. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you both. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, Joe and Ildi, congratulations on this final season. I loved every single moment of it. Also, Ildi, I love that your dog is just chilling behind you in the corner. I, I have, or my dogs are downstairs, but like, he's like, yeah, they're still, oh my gosh. They're completely camouflage. I love it so much. <laughs> well, I got tons of fan questions for the both of you, but honestly, one of the ones that came in the most was, what was it like just being on set on the final day of filming and rapping, I'm sure it was super emotional, but just tell us fans what it was like just having Lucifer finally rap. Joe, I want to begin with you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a lot like, and <laughs> it was tricky because you know, we're everyone's COVID it up. Everyone's got masks. Everyone's so, so you're both like very distant, but so wildly intimate because a lot of the crew has been with us for years. We ended on the final moment of the series that was our final shot okay. and um it was just it was beautiful it was hard and wonderful and everyone gave speeches after uh, the uh, end of series sherwin shalati our director of the episode uh announced it everyone went over everyone gave big speeches everyone cried and um and we had little bottles of independent champagne because that's how you have to do it in COVID. Um, oh my gosh. I, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. It'll be the same for you. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, I think the, what, one, of the, one of the harder things about uh, this being our final season was the COVID of it, obviously. And yeah. the fact that we couldn't, um, you know, hug and joke, you know, joke around as much and just, just be in each other's faces and <laughs> like, like we normally were. And right. that last day, we kind of got to a little, um, just, I mean, I, it's not like we were like, <laughs> each other. but we, uh, you know, we, we did let, uh, let the, the yardstick down for a change. We sure, literally yeah, you have to commemorate. Yardstick. Yeah. You have to commemorate yeah. somehow. Um, well, I, a lot of people, when I was talking to them about the show, a lot of fans argue that Lucifer's relationship to God is actually the main relationship of the show. I mean, I'm here for Chloe and Lucifer, but I mean, I, it, God is physically there for one season. And what do you think God was trying to teach Lucifer about himself with making him the Lord of hell and then eventually turning him to God? That was the question that a lot of fans had. So Joe, I want to begin with you. Yeah, I, I think I think it was actually it was a lot of about choice. And I, I think to a certain extent, yes, God was one of the primary relationships. And that's one of the things I love about season six is we, we deal with God and we move forward. We move past that and we move into Lucifer becoming his own man and dealing with who he is, having now resolved that. And I think season six actually redirects it back to Lucifer and Chloe which to me is the heart of the show. Um, not to disagree with that, because I do agree. Like I, 
the God has loomed large over so long, but what season six offers us is a chance to step forward. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate you speaking on that. I love Lucifer and Chloe. I think they're one of TV's best couples. So thank you so much for creating that. And I'm honestly so excited for fans to see this final season. I've had so many friends text me and I'm like, I'm not saying anything. So I'm like teasing them. No, I can't wait for them to see it. <laughs> Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Bye. Bye. Bye.